got a story here from Reuters.com. It's also up on BuyingTheComics.com. I'll show that here in a second. Disney CEO says company will quiet the noise in culture wars, according to analyst note. Bob Iger made those comments in a analyst report from Needham media analyst Laura Martin. It was part of the investors' presentation on Tuesday. This is from last week. The Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, in which the CEO also announced Disney will double its investment in theme parks and cruise ships over the next decade. It also mentioned about how part of the reason that their attendance is down is because the prices were too high and so on and such forth. You know, stuff that basically... Anybody with a brain knew that, basically. But anyway, Disney's struggling to make its streaming business profitable, improving the quality of its films, position its flag flagship sports brand ESPN to stream directly to consumers, and potentially shed its television networks. In its most recent quarter, the company beat Wall Street's profit expectations, but fell short on revenue. Disney declined comment on all this stuff, and it kind of goes into some stuff about the past. The Santas don't 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 say Gabriel. I'm actually surprised they don't launch straight into that to be honest but anyway here's a story on buying the comics talking about the uh again repeating the old laura martin thing 120 person investor event furthermore she details that Iger's key goal is to quiet the noise because culture wars are not healthy for disney's business in other words you're on the wrong side of it and it ain't working out for you it's basically what it is these reports or this report echoes comments Iger made to cnbc's david Faber back in july so in other words He's been saying this stuff for a couple months. Well, let's start seeing some evidence of it. You know, it's like you want me to... It's like they're saying, oh, we changed, baby. We changed. Take me back. I'm sorry I cheated on you. Well, you know, you got to prove it to me. You want me to take you back, so to speak. It's ridiculous. It's like... And, and so far, they haven't been really doing it. But, I mean, you know, so maybe to some people they have been, but blah, blah, blah. And it goes on. It talks some about... This also goes into some of the history and stuff. I'll let you guys read this for yourself. You know, I'll link it all in the description box and everything. But it's basically stuff that we all know they're talking about. Well, you know, like you said, I, I, really, I don't really want to engage in the specifics except to say that it's, it's not our goal to be involved in a cultural war. But yet they can keep wading into it. You know, you keep having men wearing dresses in, the actual, they're in their actual theme parks and stuff, you know. Surely confusing a bunch of four and five year old kids because they don't because some of these guys aren't even trying to appear like a woman, they got beards and mustaches and stuff. But yet they're wearing princess dresses. It's like, what the hell's going on here? I mean, like, seriously, you know, the little kids don't they, they don't know. They're like, what the hell's going on here? I guess they wouldn't say hell, I suppose. <laughs> At least most kids wouldn't, but anyway, since. So it says, uh, the article says, it's interesting to note in his comments to CNBC, he made it explicit that he did not want to be involved in a culture war. But in Martin's report, it's merely about quieting the noise. You, you know, yet again, pointing out some of the, the BS. It's like, basically with Disney and with all these companies in general, it's, it's show me. You know, show me. Show us, I guess I should say. You know, you want us to believe that you've changed. You want us to believe that you're different. You want us to believe that you're not going to be getting involved in all this stuff. Then do it. Spend a year. Hell, spend a month not waiting into a bunch of bullshit. How about that? You know, that's the way you want it. And it goes on, you know, cause it, it talks here. You know, if you look at Martin's report more charitably, it would seem Meyer does indeed want to remove the company from the culture wars that he embroiled it in. However, his words have so far not been followed by any actions. And it kind of gives some examples and stuff. I'll let you guys read it for yourself because I've already gone three and a half minutes in this. And quite frankly, this is the kind of thing that it's, it's too TBD to be determined. As to whether or not any of this stuff is real. I mean, you, know, you would like to think it is. You'd like to think that more and more of these companies are starting to wake up and be like, the hell are we doing? You know, like in Disney's case, we're, we're here to make movies and TV shows and theme parks. Why are we getting involved in politics and stuff? Because quite frankly, even if you agree with the politics, it's like you don't want that crap crammed into your TV shows and your movies and so on and such forth. At least I don't. Even if I agree with you, even if I agree with this stuff, because they, they, they almost never do it well. It's always a bunch of crap. They got to try to bludgeon you over the head with it like you're an idiot. And it's like, ah, I don't I don't want that. I want I want to go back. Like, I got no problem with diversity, inclusion. No, that's fine. That's all. I mean, hell, the vast majority of people are all for that. But when you club us over the head with the whole way black people are oppressed, you know, because these works are stand-ins for them and stuff like that. And it's like, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Like I said, I'll link both these articles in the description box. You can read them for yourself. I, I, I would kind of recommend it, I guess, if you can just glance through them real quick. But, I mean, it kind of gives some timeline and stuff. But if you want to read them for yourself, hey, go for it. Knock yourself off. That's cool. You know, let me know what you think and stuff. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.